The guy's gonna take his girlfriend to the karaoke. If you're interested in K-drama, I'm pretty sure you must have seen so many romantic scenes between Korean men and Korean women. Alright everyone, today I'm gonna be talking about 5 romantic dates Korean men are gonna take you to. Are you ready? Let's go. So many people have dreamed of dating a Korean man. Probably they learned that Korean men are really romantic from K-dramas. Today I don't wanna make a video to disappoint you. So today let me tell you 5 romantic dates Korean men or your future boyfriend will take you to. So first thing is doing a picnic in Han River eating chicken. Paisa chicken, so delicious. So Han River is like really important place for uh, Korean people who are living in Seoul. You know, Seoul is like a concrete jungle. It's like New York, you know. There's so many buildings there, people are working so hard. So we have some beautiful mountains, but Han River is like one of the places Korean people appreciate. You know, when we want to take a rest from the, our busy schedule or when we go on a quiet area or for example, when I want to take my girl to a quiet area I would love to go to Han River and just walk around, look at the river We can even take the cruise and enjoy the beautiful view of Seoul on the cruise How romantic is that? But you know, the most common date that we can do is doing a picnic in Han River So how it's gonna be, let me tell you So usually people are gonna take the subway to go to Han River because uh, if you are driving a car, there's uh, not many places for parking So subway in Korea, everywhere you can go so easily by the subway, okay? So let's take the subway to go to Han River together So we are gonna go to the Han River and then we are gonna arrive It's really quiet, people are just uh, hanging around, walking around, doing the view of the river and we are gonna get our, help. I don't know how to say, we call it dojari. So you put this spread on the grass and you're gonna sit there. But before doing the picnic, we're gonna use the convenience store, 24 hours convenience store. Maybe some beverage, alcohol, some, you know, snacks. And then we will do the picnic there. You know, in Korea, delivery system is amazing. It's a beyond your imagination, you know? If you walk around the Seoul and you kind of get lost, you know? If you just order food, the delivery man is gonna be able to find you. When you enter the Han River, there will be ajumma, you know? All the ladies are uh, giving away the flyers of uh, chickens or other delivery food. So you take some of them and then you're gonna just choose one chicken brand and you're gonna make a phone call. Uh, there's like a zone A, zone 2, zone 3 for delivery pickup service. Basically what you do is you just order a chicken. Excuse me, hello, uh, I'm at Han River uh, nearby zone 1. Can I please have a spicy chicken please? Like this. And then the delivery man is gonna arrive and your boyfriend is gonna pick up the chicken just like one minute or two minutes that's the first date that Korean man is gonna absolutely taking you just a quick announcement everyone I launched the online home workout program if you join the workout course you're gonna be able to work out with me Korea Chan and uh, with Mina as your personal trainer if you're interested in changing your body it's the right time for you I am confidently introducing it to you so I'm dropping a link with a discount huge discount only one time you're gonna have a lifetime access all right thank you so much all right so next romantic date is going to karaoke Korean people love going to the karaoke you know whenever we are stressed we go to the karaoke to sing even though I don't listen to the music but I love going to the karaoke to sing and a lot of couples do their first kiss in karaoke, you know? You know, when you guys are dating, you are planning what to do. So like, oh, what should we do today? And then how about karaoke? All right, let's go. So the couple go to karaoke and let's imagine that, let's say that um, these couples are in the beginning of their relationship. They have not kissed yet. The guy is gonna take his girlfriend to the karaoke. Usually they start with a happy, exciting song. Maybe after 40 minutes, uh, the guy is gonna choose the romantic song he's gonna change his uh, voice really low like a lion and then he's gonna sing the romantic song because you guys are in a room there's a one big tv screen uh, two microphones and sofas around it because you're dating you will be sitting next to each other he's gonna sing a romantic song and the girl is gonna look at his eyes and she's gonna appreciate the voice of his boyfriend she's gonna place her head on his shoulder and you know enjoying his voice you know enjoying the music and then he's gonna look at her she's gonna look at him and then they're gonna share the eye contact and that's the moment that he's gonna start going closer you know going closer and then 
they do the kiss. But everyone don't think that karaoke is a dangerous place. I'm talking about the romantic dates. Imagine how romantic it's gonna be. You go to the karaoke, you sing your favorite song each time, and then you're gonna share eye contact, and then because you guys like each other or you guys love each other, you guys are gonna make out. And then the next topic is a Lotte World. So Lotte World is the one of the best amusement park in Korea. You know, like a Korean K drama high school uniform, right outside the Lotte World the ticketing area. Uh, there is a place where you can rent a high school uniform. So what we do is we rent a high school uniform and you guys are gonna walk around the Lotte World and take photos and enjoy the rides. Uh, there is a haunted house, you know, your boyfriend is gonna take you to because he is already planning, you know. When he takes you to the haunted house, he's just expecting you to hide behind you. You're gonna hug his arm, you're gonna shout, and then he's gonna be taking care of you. He wants it because there will be, uh, you know, like a uh, skin touching, you know. Guys like it. And then haunted house is the best place <laughs> where, where uh, my girlfriend can get close to me. Everyone next to the topic is uh, traveling to the delicious restaurants. So we love trying to find a delicious restaurant. And in Korea, we call this matjip. Mat means taste, jip means house. And it becomes delicious restaurant. We refer the restaurant which serve great food, we call it matjip. By the internet, it's so easy to find for us because of the reviews. A restaurant cannot make the really bad food, otherwise no one is gonna go to that restaurant. People are gonna write reviews. I don't even go to the restaurant that has a 4.5 stars review out of a 5 stars review. That's how Korean people are very sensitive with the reviews. So for example, I'm going to Jeju Island with my girlfriend and I will just search what is famous for Jeju Island. Uh, what kind of food is famous already? And then if I choose, uh, for example, fried fish or uh, grilled fish is famous in Jeju Island, then I will try to find a matzi for grilled fish. You know, it's just so fun that going to the really nice restaurant with my girlfriend. Sometimes the restaurant can be the main purpose of the traveling. You know, order food and when we are so satisfied, when our stomachs are satisfied, then the happiness goes up. And then when we go back to the hotel, maybe the happiness is gonna affect our... Okay, and the last topic is going to Seoul Namsan Tower and hanging the locks of love. Uh, this last one is uh, too much cute. Uh, we have a place for the couples to go and it's called the Seoul Namsan Tower. There's so many fans and around the fans were so many couples, I would say, uh, hung the locks of love, you know? And then they promise their love eternally because no one is gonna open the locks of love. And the Seoul Namsan Tower by the sunset time is uh, beautiful, by the way. I recommend you to go even though you don't have a boyfriend. If you try to look closely at the locks of love, you're gonna probably find uh, the same name with the same handwriting, but more than one locks of love. Maybe like one in that corner, one in that corner. But I recommend you to have the pork cutlet nearby because that area is popular for pork cutlet. It's uh, called the Tonkasu. I personally think the last one is, uh, I'm not sure, it looks romantic or it sounds romantic, but I don't like it. I think it's a little bit stupid to me, but I hope you find it romantic and I hope your boyfriend uh, would like to take you there for the locks of love hanging. Uh, I have prepared five romantic dates that Korean men are gonna take you to. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye, thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Chan, your fitness expert. Imagine having a personal trainer and a workout partner without having to go to a gym. Me and your highly experienced personal trainer Minha covered everything that is needed for you to start changing your body for the next 100 days. Let me tell you how this course is the best suitable for you. When you complete this course, you'll be able to know how to build your own workout routine. You're gonna know how to make customized diet meals. I mean, why it's important, how to prepare, and what to eat exactly. Lastly, you're gonna love your new body and enjoy working out. So what do we offer to you? We have more than 130 how to exercise videos, 25 different workout routines already to help you exercise 
systematically and effectively. We provide a downloadable PDF files filled with a lot of nutritional information. This WaterJet Diet program is designed for those who want to work out but don't know how to start, don't have time to exercise because of their busy schedule, who think hiring a personal trainer is expensive, who wants to work out with workout partner. Lastly, anyone who is motivated to change her or his body. Everyone, thank you so much for watching and start investing in yourself with our program right now.